And he is, in fact, transphobic. He literally intentionally harasses trans people here on TikTok. My boyfriend would never do that. No, he had two trans women in his recent music video and a gay guy, and he's done more for the LGBTQ community than you have, babe. And he will never make me do a video like this. <laughs> Zaria, uh, can you do me a favor? Can you shut the f up, please? Telling people of the LGBTQ community that your f***ing shit stain of a boyfriend has done more for the community than they have ever f***ing done, even though they exist and they're in the community, is absolutely f***ing wild to me. And to also Hold say- Hold on. That what has this person done for the community? Does anyone know? Not saying this person hasn't, but, but what did this person ever do? Does it, can anyone fill in the blanks with this? Leave a comment. Let's go. And to also say in his newest music video that he has- Two trans women who are two conservative trans women in his new music video that that makes him the good guy. Hold on. So is that the problem really? Because that's what it's coming off as. Is it because of the fact that they're conservative and they're not lefties? So that doesn't count in this person's book? Because that's what's coming off as. Or am I tripping? Let me know in the comments. Smash the like. Let's continue. Do you, do you realize the equivalence of what you're trying to do right now? That's pulling the whole, well, I'm not racist. I have a black friend card. And to go on in the comments. What in the Craig Mavitt meets Chris Motionless is going on here? So you're pretty much saying that since I put two trans people in a gay, <laughs> and a gay guy in my music video, that it's like me having one black friend and saying I'm not racist, right? What about the two trans people who just at my house uh, two days ago uh, helping me with my outfits? And that, that I hired to work on my uh, music videos with. The two trans people. What about the gay guy that just did my hair last night for the Saddle Ranch event I just did? What about like 12 years ago when I put Jeffree Star in my music video? I think I've done more for the LGBTQ than you have ever done in mm. life. So go back to that hot topic you crawl crawled out of and go get back to selling my merch, you ugly <laughs> hoe. Jeez. We're all sick and tired of you creatures, dude. You're crawling out of your little safe spaces to can make some noise and because you don't get any attention from anybody. Because everywhere you go, everybody even runs in fear because you guys are hideous. Look at you. Yeah, I'm going to make fun of your looks. You know why? Because I don't know anything about you except you attacking me and my girlfriend calling us things that we're not. So I'm going to go ahead and, and make fun of your looks. I don't know you personally. You're gross. You're ugly. You look disgusting. I bet you smell like tuna fish. Leave me the fuck alone, and I'm never going to stop responding to you guys because all this does is help me make more money and make you look like a fucking idiot. Fuck you and everything you stand for, and fuck everyone that believes in everything and the horse they rode in on, you fucking ugly bitch. Look, I'm sure he's tired of it, but as he said, you know, he's doing this as promo. It's doing really well for him, too, and the band. The thing that's really sad is the fact that People don't acknowledge and realize that he's actually giving opportunity to people in this community. Blair White was booked as a principal on a big budget music video, and she was playing a sheriff. She wasn't playing some stereotypical character that you may see someone from that gender being booked as. Like she was an effing sheriff in this big, enormous budget music video with Jelly Roll and Falling in Reverse. And everyone should be praising that. And it's so odd and sick that it's being overlooked. And I think the reason why is because Blair is a conservative. Because now politics are involved, we're throwing all that other stuff in the garbage now, right? Because Blair ain't like us. Like, just because she has a different view politically, She's still transgender, right? So why are you guys attacking Ronnie falling in reverse? Soraya's sticking up for her boyfriend. Soraya's awesome. We loved her in WWE and AEW. Um, and it's just crazy that she's getting attacked now. Like she did something wrong, you know? So it's absurd, man. Like, People just want to bitch and moan, complain all the time. By the way, hit that like button right now, man. If you dig in the vibe, smash the like and make sure you leave your comments because we want to read them. You don't have to agree with me, too. I'm not really, like, taking sides on this whole shit, too. Like, if I hear something where Ronnie's out of pocket, I'm going to say it. But everything he's saying makes sense. You know, I mean, I'm not going to agree with him, like, making fun of... Uh, the way that person looked with the piercings all over their face and all that. I mean, if that's what you like, then that's what you like. 
But, um, you know, he feels like someone's taking shots at him, so he's taking shots right back. I get it. I do that too myself. You know, if someone wants to start something, I'm going to finish the motherfucker. That's just how I get down. So I understand where he's coming from with it all. You know, who wants to be attacked online? I sure the hell don't. He sure the hell don't. You sure the hell don't. Right? Or am I right? Thank you for tuning in. Watch more. We've been covering a lot of this content, plus the music. Music is most important here at Dell's Reacts, but we've been covering a lot of what Ronnie's got to say versus the haters or the people, you know, the people that he ain't rocking with, right? Seems like majority of the comments, though, is pro-Ronnie. I'm seeing very few people saying Ronnie's tripping or he's a punk, you know? Like, I'm not seeing much. Maybe for every 50 to 100 comments, we're getting one saying that Ronnie's a punk or he's this, that, and the third, right? So I'd love to hear your comments. If you're still watching, if you're a lifer, if you're new here, I appreciate you still watching. Write in the comment, extra large pepperoni pizza with four roaches. Not three, but four. Follow me on Instagram at DJ Dells. The TikTok is real DJ Dells. X is DJ Dells. And... Thank you guys. Click one of these boxes, watch more, join the membership, and make sure to check out Ronnie and the boys on tour. There'll be a link in the description box. They had a restock on some merch. They had the menthol cowboy killers today. I missed out on it. That's a dope tea, though. I'm out of here. Let me shut up. It's late, man. I wanted to cover this, though. Peace.